partial fraction, uh, many students know how to use substituting a suitable value of x into the bracket so that to remove terms to find your a, b's and c's. Okay, they, but most of students uh, forget that you can also use another method called comparing coefficient to find the a, b and c's as well. Now there is a certain type of question, okay, especially usually when you have x squared as your denominator and 2x squared plus 1 as your denominator this kind of question you are totally unable to use substituting of x method to find your a b and c's so you have to use the comparison method now when you see x squared as your denominator this tells you it is a repeated root okay repeated roots or rather repeated factors Okay, and this tells you that it is a quadratic factor. Factor that cannot be factorized. Alright, so immediately once you identify the cases, you write equals to a over x plus b over x square plus, okay, so your, for your quadratic root 2x square plus 1, you have cx plus d. Oh my god, now we have three unknown A, B, S, and C. Okay, making them into a common denominator would be x square bracket 2x square plus 1 here. So for A, who do we need to multiply? For A, we need to multiply for, by x and 2x square plus 1. For B, we need to multiply by 2x square plus 1. And for Cx plus D, we need to multiply by x square okay so this means that 2x cubed plus 3 equals to a x bracket 2x square plus 1 plus b bracket 2x square plus 1 plus cx plus d x square okay so again the first step is always we try we try we try to put in suitable value of x so that we can eliminate the terms okay so luckily we can let x equals to zero so my left side will be three equals to now if i put in zero this guy will be zero this guy will be zero okay and now i'm left with b bracket 1 okay so which means b equals to 3 yay we have one one unknown down three more to go okay so next we will i will put it back in so 2 x cube 2 x cube plus 3 equals to ax bracket 2 x square plus 1 plus 3 bracket 2x squared plus 1 plus cx plus dx squared okay so the next we have to use the comparison method to find our other unknowns okay so first we will now in comparison method there's two things you need to start comparing number one we always compare the highest power okay highest power followed by number number two then we compare constants okay so number one we compare the highest power on the left hand side my highest power is x cubed all right so i write down comparing x cubed yeah my left hand side is 2x cubed equal my right hand side okay how would i form x cubed 2x square times ax this will give me 2x cubed any more 2x cubed and we actually have one more which is cx times him all right so i have ax times 2x square all right plus cx times x square all right so this will mean that 2 is equals to 2a plus c okay so i have two unknown now, if you have two unknown, you need two equations to solve. So first, make it a habit. I will actually make C the subject for the first one because I know that I'm go definitely going to use simultaneous equation. So C equals to 2 minus 2A. And this is my equation number 1. All right. Next, I compare constant. Okay, so on my left-hand side, 
comparing constants okay my left hand side the constant is equals to 3 all right so i'll write down 3 equals then i will go back to okay over here how do i see if i can make any constant ax times any okay this will not be a constant uh, i have 3 times 1 all right and i any more no more so in this case it re is retro rhetorical because i found that Okay, three is equals to three. I can, I, I, that's not, that's nothing I can. That's not, that's nothing to compare. So I will just erase this part away. Sometimes you need to try, and then you need to fail, and then you need to move on to other ways. All right. So next, we have to compare. Maybe let's say x square. Okay. So my left hand side is there any x square? No, there's no x square. On my right hand side, is there any x square? So for the first, for the first um, guy, a x times 1 does not give you x square so nope so do I have an x square here on the next one yes it's 2 times 2 x square times 3 so that will be 6 x square any more x square here and there would be so we have 3 bracket 2 x square plus d x square so this would mean that 0 is equal to 6 plus D okay and then D will be equals to negative six yay then so now we have another unknown alright so we need to compare again comparing comparing X alright so my left hand side for my left hand side are there any X so in case you are if you are if you are lost uh the main equation is here okay on our left hand side are there any do I have any x nope on my right hand side can i form any x yes i can uh, which is which is ax times one okay so ax times one any more x this side no more all right so we have ax bracket one all right and that would means my a is equals to zero okay so now we can put back a equals to zero into equation one all right so c is equals to two so now i have all my a b c's and d i can say that two x cubed plus three over x square bracket two x square plus 1 is equals to a 0 so I do not write uh, b is 3 3 over x square plus c x plus d over your denominator 2 x square plus 1 and that's your answer over here okay so important thing to note is at the start, when we can let x be something, we let x be equal to 0 so that we can eliminate the other variables to find one variable first. Then after that, using your comparison method to go and find the other constants, uh, the other unknowns, alright? So another method would be you can, you can expand the whole of your right side, okay? And if you think that it's easier for you, and then after that, go and compare, okay? It will give you the same answer.